Hi, I'm Brent Hall. I'm the farmer at Freewheel Farm in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here today to talk about urban farming. When I first came to look at the property, I thought, I can't do anything with this because it was so overgrown with kudzu, weeds, uh, there were trash piles everywhere. Um, but I ended up having a crew of friends come out and help clear the land with me uh, over the course of an afternoon. And by the time we were finished, you could really see the potential. One of the benefits of this site was that there were a lot of already existing structures which I've been able to use to my advantage. So let's head in and I'll show you around. So one of the advantages of urban farming is that you have access to a lot of resources right within the city. Um, for example, I have access to free wood chips from tree companies as much as I want. Um, coffee shops discard their spent uh, coffee grinds. I've got access to brewery grains from a local brewery here in the neighborhood. Uh, another example is these mushroom bags which I get from Fifth Kingdom Mushrooms about two miles away. Once these bags are not productive enough to stay on their line, they donate them to farmers, they'll fruit out a little bit still, and then I use the substrate for my compost piles and also for mulching my beds. So this is the compost house. It is one of the existing structures that was at the farm. Behind me, I've got a couple of cold frames made from scrap skylights, which were sourced on site. I use these for starting seedlings in the spring. Can also use them for season extension in the fall and winter. Here I've got a composting toilet and uh, a five bay composting system, uh, which I use to build my compost for the farm. Uh, we've got our carbon over here. First bay gets turned into the second bay turn into the third bay, fourth and fifth, and it's finished when it uh, is over in this general area. One thing that's critical for me to be able to farm this site is having secure on-site storage. I was really lucky that these two storage containers were already here, which enables me to store all of my market equipment and my tools. The property here is about three quarters of an acre total with about one quarter acre of arable land. Uh, it's really important when farming on a small scale for me to grow crops that take up little space but have a high dollar value. And one example of something like that is mushroom logs, which are great to grow in the shade as well. Um, so I had a nice shady nook uh, behind my storage containers and I've got about 50 shiitake mushroom logs growing here. When I first started growing here, I would bring my harvest back to my house a few blocks away and wash things in my sink, uh, which over time proved to not be efficient and effective. I built this wash station so that I could have a larger capacity for washing greens and other vegetables. Uh, I designed and built the frame from scrap wood that I found around the city and used a 55 gallon drum that I cut in half as the two tubs for a double wash station. The farm property is on a slope, which is not always ideal for growing because of erosion and soil creep issues. But I've been able to use the slope to my advantage by mounting up the beds, which breaks up the flow of water and allows it to pool in the footpaths and sink and spread throughout the beds. Growing on a small farm necessitates planting high dollar crops, planting them intensively, and having quick rotations. It's October right now, and the things that make the most sense for me to grow and that I have in the ground are carrots, beets, arugula, baby lettuce mix, Swiss chard, kale, collards, radishes, herbs, and I'm just finishing off the tail end of my eggplant and peppers. One way that I maximize my yield in a small space is by interplanting. In this bed, I've got three rows of carrots uh, that are interplanted with one row of spinach and one row of baby lettuce mix. And by the time the carrot tops are up and needing more water and sunlight, the spinach and, and lettuce mix are already out of the ground. 
because space is at a premium on my farm, I need to make sure that every bed is producing uh, an edible crop at all times, which means, unfortunately, I don't usually have time to cover crop. Uh, this is a reason why composting is so important for building the soil fertility. Urban farm soils tend to be depleted and need a lot of extra nutrients, so adding lots of compost is a way that I do that. One important factor with site selection for an urban farm is the neighbors. Neighbors are one of your best forms of security for your farm, and you also want to make sure that they're on board with what you're doing. So when I moved here, I first went around, introduced myself to the neighbors, brought them produce, and let them know a little bit about what I planned on doing. The neighbors in the house behind me here liked what I was doing so much that they offered to let me tear up this chunk of their backyard and turn it into a satellite plot for the farm. Another benefit of being in a more populous area is that I have access to a lot of help via my workshare volunteers and volunteer groups such as Hands on Atlanta and school groups. The farmer's market that I sell at is the Grant Park Farmer's Market, which is a third of a mile down the street from me. I also sell to a handful of restaurants, which are all within three miles of the farm. Less driving time means more time that I can spend working on the farm. It also means less vehicle and driving related expenses. It also means I get to sleep in a little bit. Obviously, urban farming presents its own unique set of challenges and takes a lot of work. Uh, for example, I will probably never own this piece of property that I'm farming because of the high property value. I'm also limited in the amount that I can expand just because most urban lots are pretty small. But in the meantime, I'm able to grow on an otherwise unused space. I'm able to make a modest living. I love what I'm doing out here. I get to work outside every day and I get to grow food for my community.